All right, I wanna go over how to actually clean and tear apart one of these phasers here for your Gen 1 or Gen 2 Coyote. Um, this is for a Gen 1 Coyote, but the phasers are, are kind of similar, so um, you can have an idea of how to tear one down and clean that one. Now, I wanna, I wanna note that these phasers are connected to an engine that had a spun connecting rod bearing, um, had an issue with with um, overheating the oil and the oil was was kind of going away. So we had low oil issues. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how dirty these things are and why you can't just clean the outsides and why it's important to kind of go inside these things and clean them up. Because to replace these things are kind of expensive and if there's not really that much wear on them, then it's kind of um, an expense that you don't want to spend. Because these things I believe are close to $150 a piece or something like that. So you take off the phasers from the camshaft with these three center um, 12 points. Then you're gonna break free the outer um, phaser bolts as well. These are star bits. So you take these guys out. And then you're gonna notice there's a little snap ring right here. We're gonna take that guy out with some snap pliers. Set that to the side. Now, I've already been inside this. That's why you guys can see these little things over here. And I'll explain these here in a second. So now we're going to take the cover off. So we just slide the top plate off. Now, the top plate is actually a two-plate system. You'll have a top piece and an outer piece. Flip this upside down and that just flung off. You want to make sure that you locate this because there is a spring right here that can pop up and this can go flying and you need these pieces right here. So we'll take this plates and set them off to the side right now. Go ahead and pull out your spring and that little piece right there, set it aside. Now, there's a couple different things to orient or to note before you take this out. These little pieces right here are what hold this tension on this inner um, phaser gear to the outer phaser. So you have one right here, right here, right here, 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 and here. Now the reason why there isn't any in here is because I already took out um, four of these. What I want you guys to note is the orientation of these because you'll have three of them where the metal will be facing inward, which will be your outer ones. So this one, this one, and this guy will have it to where the outer metal or the inner metal piece will be facing, let me get a good angle here, will be facing towards the phaser gear. So we do not want to slide it in like this. We don't want to slide it in like that. We want to make sure that the metal piece is facing on the inside and then we'll slide it in like that to your outer ones. Now for these inner ones, it's the exact opposite. You want the metal to be facing towards the outer gear and that's because the plastic side is going to be rotating inward through oil pressure to either advance or retard timing as the car needs it. So I just want to make sure that the orientation is something that you guys note prior to pulling this out because when you guys go to put it back in, it can be kind of easy to mess it up. Once you get the orientation down, now you can pull out this gear. And then we'll take our last little piece here and you can see how filthy these things are. It's a two piece system, right? You have a little metal piece right here and then a little plastic thing and they just slide inside of one another like so. And then now this guy can separate. And then you still have, and we can set these two pieces to the side for right now. I wanna focus in on this inner one. So we still have a couple components inside of here. If you didn't get it with this piece right here, you can push this guy out, and mine's dirty, that's why it's not wanting to go out, but 
there's this like little piston thing that this guy slides inside of and you can keep that together. The last piece on this thing is actually a little metal plate. If you can get it to kind of come up. You want to be gentle with this thing. All right. And we'll pull that little plate off right there. And then there's no, there's nothing else that, that can come out. That's how you completely disassemble the, the intake phasers. The exhaust phaser is extremely similar. There's just one additional piece, but once you disassemble the intake phaser completely, then you clean each individual part. You notice the wear that you'll see is right here. So if there's a bunch of um, scratching on this plate right here, or on the inner plate right here, that's places to note. Um, to determine whether or not you should replace the phasers versus just cleaning it. Mine doesn't have that much damage on it, which is why I'm going to clean it. But I want to show you guys just how filthy these things can get. You see that right there? That's a whole bunch of dirt and grime built up. And you can't clean that from just wiping the outside of a, of a completely assembled phaser. The, the stuff that's inside of here needs to be cleaned individually. Once you're done cleaning everything, you'll reassemble in reverse order. And then there's a couple of different options you guys can choose. You guys can, um, every single bolt on this phaser is torqued to yield. So if you guys want to use OEM hardware, make sure you replace um, all of the OEM stuff. But seems how you need to buy hardware anyways. You could spend just a couple extra dollars and get some ARP stuff that you can reuse in the future. So here are those two part numbers. Your top one is gonna be 156, uh, 1006. And this is your 20 full bolt um, phaser thing. That's gonna be your outer bolts. So that's gonna be these guys right here. Well, these are the OEM ones. The ARP ones look like this. The next you have the three inner gears, or the three inner bolts, excuse me. And that's going to be this one right here, 256-1003. Um, so that's going to replace your hardware that goes here. And then I can show you guys what that looks like assembled on to the actual engine. So ARP outers, ARP inners, and it's all reusable. These two phasers have already been cleaned and reinstalled back on the engine, obviously. We're still waiting on the primary tensioners to come in. So just to show you guys a couple of the components again. So this is your bottom piece. And then the way, because um, once you disassemble this, it can be kind of confusing to, to reassemble it. So I'll just kind of mock this up for you guys real quick here. So what you want to do when you're ready to reassemble this thing after it's cleaned is you have your bottom piece, which you can identify with the ring on it. And then your next piece is going to be the shell. And you want to make sure that these line up. The easiest way to do that is to locate the little um, piece right here, which we can uh, actually has a little piece in it. But um, make sure that these two are in the right orientation and those fit just right up on top. You can verify that all the bolt holes line up correctly. Then next, you want to wait to install these. So there's one in here, but it won't be that big of a deal. Well, maybe it will. Pull that guy out. So the way that this goes in here, this really can only go in one way, but the big hole on this needs to line up with the hole in there. So we drop that into place like that. Then you would go through and then put in these guys, making sure that the metal piece for the outer ones face inward like this, so where your plastic is facing out. And then on your inward ones, the metal is facing towards you or towards the phaser like this and put in there. So two opposite things. So we got metal towards us there, metal away from us here. And that's going to be the same. They'll alternate away from you, towards you, away from you, towards you, away from you, towards you, all the way around. 
Then next you'll take your little piston thing, drop that guy down in that little hole. That will stick up like that. You will take your plate, line up the three holes with the three outer holes right there. And then that guy just slides right back on. So these are the three holes that I was talking about that you're gonna line up. Then you'll take your top plate, put that on there just like that. We'll take this Jones, line the three holes up again. That will slide down and then you'll put your snap ring on. You'll throw your hardware on the outside, torque that down. Then you'll throw it on the cam and then put your three inner bolts in. Just like that. That's how you completely assemble and or disassemble, clean, and then reassemble um, to prepare to install it on your actual block. The exhaust phaser is exactly the same thing. The only difference is the shell. So you'll have two like little gear pieces here that can kind of confuse you, but it's re there's really nothing to the exhaust phaser. If you guys figured out the intake one, the exhaust one's exactly the same way. I just want to show you guys that because sometimes cleaning these is a necessity. If they've sat a while, you know, you have no idea um, what the story is behind the engine, why it failed, did it have low oil pressure, you know, where was these phasers getting adequate um, oil, which probably wasn't if it went through a, f a failure. So you need to make sure you're cleaning these or replacing them um, to ensure proper operation when you guys get actually to use this engine and expect it to operate the way that it's supposed to. Just gonna do the other bank and then we'll get ready to grease this thing up.